So you talked about some very demanding flying. Did you? Could you? Could you recall any particularly hairy uh, scenarios? Yeah. Every time I tried to land at night on the flight there, pretty much. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's until until you see it, it's one that it's difficult to comp- comprehend. At, at night, at sea, there is no cultural, uh, there's no lighting at all from, obviously, we, we're very used to, you know, when at home, even on a dark night, quite often you've got light pollution from cities and towns and, and all that sort of stuff. At, at sea, there's none of that at all. And then if there's no moon, there is actually no light. You know, it is it is properly dark, you know, to the point where you can't really even see the horizon. Um, and we didn't, this, this is before um, my sort of squadron or my units got night vision goggles. So we didn't have M- MVG um, at this time. But we still had to fly at night, so we'd get you'd take off, get get airborne from the ship. And the flight deck's only fourteen feet above the uh, above the sea, so you lift into the hover, do some checks above the flight deck, make sure all the systems are correct, and then move off to the left and then transition away. And as soon as you lose visual references with the ship, it, on a dark night, there's there's nothing out there to look at. So you're basically straight onto your flight instruments. Making sure you've got a positive rate of climb, making sure your wings are level, making sure that you're accelerating, and then getting up to a safe height to operate at, uh, and so on. There's also no on this aircraft. There's no autopilot um, in a modern aircraft, or, although it might be called an autopilot. Actually, the autopilot does more than just fly the aircraft for you. If you're if it's not basically an autopilot, will um, hold heights and hold headings for you and, and hold speeds for you. So we had none of that in the links. So you had to be hands on flying that aircraft all the time. Um, so that's fine. You could get airborne. And then once everything's settled down, the observer then turns on his radar uh, and then starts using the radar to, to do whatever job we're going to do. Generally speaking, that's looking for other ships at sea. And if it's a tactical kind of training exercise, you're looking for other ships and you're going to pretend that they're the enemy. Or they might, if, it, if it's actually, actually an exercise with other ships, they are. For, it, for the purposes of the exercise, the enemy. So you're then in a tactical situation where you're trying to find out where they are, report back to the ship, and then come up with some kind of um, attack solution, whether that's missiles or um, providing targeting information for, a, for for the ship or whatever it might be, or ships. So you're doing all that sort of stuff at, at, at night and uh, often not able to see much out there. But then the most demanding bit is then coming back to land on the ship. Um, but you're then in a tactical environment, so none of the ships have got lights on um, because they don't want to give away their positions. So you then using the radar uh, or the, the, the helicopter's radar, which because the Lynx had its own little built-in um, radar system, we'd use that to then position ourselves on on an approach back to the flight deck of the ship, and then uh, oh, I can't remember what it would be now about about a mile, mile and a half now, I think it would be. Um, we then start the descent down to the flight deck, reducing speed to then come alongside. If you imagine that the flight deck is at the back of the ship, my aim is to come alongside in a hover on the port side of the flight deck. So I'm looking out the right hand window, um, doing the same speed as the ship. So I, I'm stationary relative to the ship, regardless of what the ship's actually doing through the water, get self stable alongside the ship and then move uh, to the right position over the top of the flight deck and land on all in the dark you know and actually you know you do we do have a landing lamp so a steerable landing lamp on the aircraft which i can then direct towards the ship to start giving me some visual references and the ship will also have a, a couple of a red masthead lights they're normally on and it might have a stern light on as well so there's a little bit to look at but really demanding you know and if if you've got a sea state so the ship's pitching and rolling as well You've got to make sure that you pick your moment to, to, to then land on when the ship is relatively stationary so that you get a, an, an accurate landing. And then as soon as you land, um, activate something called, it was called the harpoon. It was just basically a device that came out underneath the aircraft and it grabbed hold of a metal mesh that was built into the flight deck. And it grabbed hold of that to keep the aircraft secure on the ship. And then once the harpoon was in, the flight deck um, team We'd come out with the uh, the straps and lashings and and and, and lash the aircraft to, to the flight deck. So that all that sort of stuff, all, all that stuff, low level at night around the flight deck, was hard. The other thing it was demanding as well. Sometimes you'd have to do a um, 
what we call a replenishment at sea or load lifting where you might have to go and pick someone up from a ship that doesn't have a flight deck or you might need to drop something off on a flight on a ship that doesn't have a flight deck so you can't land and lots of ships are very cluttered they don't have a lot of space so you've got to find somewhere to actually you know drop your guy down and that might be uh, on the bow of the ship for example uh, but the ship's got to maintain speed so you're and and the wind might be from the start from starboard so i need to be pointing into wind therefore i'm I'm across, I'm a beam across the ship, if you like, across the bow, flying, effectively flying sideways at 20 knots to, to make sure that I'm staying stationary relative to the ship. Again, might be doing all of that at night, you know, so that was really demanding stuff. And it was not something that I enjoyed or relished doing at all, you know. What do we <laughs> um, do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do?